Hello, my name's Craig, and I'm going to be taking you through today's presentation, which is about the hand-in assignment for week two. Before we get started today, I just want to go through this disclaimer um, to let you know that you're not allowed to make use of any of the material that we cover um, here in this assignment. So the articles that we find, the search terms we use, um, you should not use them in your own assignment. Um, your instructors are aware of this presentation and they have the material as well, so please do not use it. Okay, so this is for the hand in assignment that you have in week two. We created this presentation um, to try and assist you because we understand that some students have had issues with this assignment in the past. So before you begin this hand in assignment, um, you're going to have to remember that you're going to be searching databases and that's going to be an important part of your work throughout studying with the University of Liverpool. So first of all, we would recommend that you read through the tips for searching from the online library. Then download the searching databases task document from the required resources slash learning resources. And don't worry, we will show you where to find all of this um, in this presentation. Three. Follow the instructions to complete the tasks and address the questions directly in the template. Again, we'll cover that template in more detail later. And four, you must submit your answer to the hand in assignment turn it in link by midnight, your time of day seven, which is Wednesday. So basically, week two starts on a Thursday, finishes on a Wednesday. You have to submit it Wednesday night, your time, before midnight. Your answer should be around 350 words and it must include at least three academic sources. These should not be any of the sources that were in the weekly notes, and again, nor should they be any of the sources that we cover in this presentation. The citations and reference list are not included in the word count. So the reference list you put at the bottom of the page, that's not part of the word count, it's not part of the 350 words. So you can see here on the screen, this is an example of the template that I mentioned on the previous slide. This is what you're going to be filling out when you are completing your assignment and submitting it. Now you can see this just now in the screen, but we'll also show you where to find this template inside the classroom later in this presentation. So we will take you through that. So I'm going to read through the, just the template quite quickly. You're tasked to carry out a literature search, like we said. You can carry out the search in any one area you want as long as it's relevant to public health, for example, sheltered asthma and poverty. And you can choose any of the databases that are available in the university library. Please copy the following task, complete the activities required and post the final document to turn it in. So you're going to have to tell them, first of all, the database that you searched, the time frame searched, the dates, the years it was between, the types of studies searched, any terms you use, the words you use to search, and Boolean operators if you use them. Again, we'll cover what Boolean operators are in just a moment. And finally, the number of references that you found. And number one, in light of the number and range of articles that you have found, would you now modify your search terms? And if so, how would you do it? So they're asking you, based on the answers you've given in this little table, what do you think you would do if you were to make the search again? Were the results too big? Were they too small? Um, were the terms not appropriate? What changes would you make and why? Explain that in 250 words. Number two, select one study and summarize the paper in no more than 100 words. That's quite difficult. But take one of the articles that you found, read through it, and then give a summary of that article in less than 100 words. And then at the conclusion of that article, give a reference for it using the Harvard referencing style. If you don't know what the Harvard referencing style is, or you've got problems with that, please contact your student advisor. Okay, I mentioned Boolean operators on the previous screen. So this is an example of what Boolean operators are. You can see here on this table on the left hand side is operator. That's the actual, the actual word or the actual feature that you enter. And then it explains how it works an example and effect. So we're just going to take the first one. Remember, you can go back and watch this presentation at any time. So the first operator is AND. If you take the word AND in capital letters and put it between multiple words that you've included in the search, then that's going to increase the articles where those words are present. Okay, So it's only going to give you articles where it has both those words. 
So an example here is management and systems and design. So the effect is only articles where all these words are present will be searched, although not necessarily in this order. And the next one is not, it's basically the opposite of and. So if you see the example, management, not planning development, that means it's only going to find articles with the word management is contained and it will exclude any articles with the words planning development content. Okay, so that's that's an example of and, an example of not. I think for the start of the search, it's, it's good to maybe focus on these and you can look at these other examples and, and go through them if you wish. Okay, so now you can see we've come into the classroom and like I said, we're going to try and show you now with a real live example of how you can go ahead and complete the week two hand in assignment. So first of all, if we go to the left of the screen and we select learning resources two in week two, you're going to see here the searching databases task in MS Word. So that's where you're going to find that little table that I showed you where you have to fill in the information. So you'll come here and you'll be able to download it in MS Word. You can do that. And then if you're looking for a link to the library, if you select module tools, and again, you can see here, University of Liverpool online library, just click on that and it'll open in a new tab. Now we've already opened the library, so I'm gonna to go to the library just now. Okay. Now, this is the front page of the library. If you're having problems logging in or you have not registered for the library, um, I would suggest that you try and register as soon as possible. If you're having issues with registration, um, maybe submit a ticket to the support team. Um, we will show you the link for submitting a ticket to the support team at the end of this presentation. Um, so you can see here, there's lots of different tabs to help you. First of all, we go to training module. Earlier in the presentation, I mentioned a couple of um, a couple of things to go through, a couple of guides to check out before approaching this assignment. So we're going to show you where to find them. If you go to searching for e-resources, and you'll see tips for searching. Now this is quite a good thing to download, save to your computer. It won't only be useful for this assignment; it'll also be useful for any future assignments where you need to use the library. Okay, let's go back to home. Now, there's many different databases available in the library, and um, by speaking to your one of the student support team members, you can maybe go into them in a little bit more detail. Today, what we are going to focus on is using Discover. Discover um, is right here in the middle of the screen, um, and this actually covers, I think, more than one database. So it can maybe be quite useful for you in finding good articles. And we think in terms of user friendly for your first time, it's maybe the most helpful. So just click in the middle search box here. And we are going to use an example for searching of healthy eating in schools. And like we said before, we would really suggest do not use healthy eating in schools for your assignment. You're not supposed to use this material for your own assignment. So if we use the Boolean searching, like we said, healthy and eating and schools, and then search peer review only. The term peer review in academia basically means that the work has been submitted to an academic journal, that it's been reviewed by their peers, by other academics, and it's been verified of good quality. That, that's all it means. So the majority of the work in the library would be peer reviewed, but it's always helpful just to click it anyway. Click on search. That's going to open a new tab. Might take a little bit long depending on the speed of your internet connection. As you can see, mine is just loading now. Okay. Now we've got quite a few results here. Um, some of these look quite appropriate for the search. For example, this one, healthy eating in and out of school time, the promise and the challenge. That looks like it's quite a suitable article based on my search. You can see here, this has produced 7,008 results. Now, as you can imagine, that, that's quite a few. If you go down, you can see that the range of years is 1940 to 2013. Now, you might think that 
the stuff published in 2013 um, is not appropriate. Maybe you're looking for something a little earlier. On the other hand, maybe you see 1914, you think that the research carried out then maybe isn't relevant in 2013. So you can alter the age range by using these little arrow keys to make it more narrow. And then that will change the search results. If we scroll down a little, you can also see that academic journals is the most common. This would be really the peer reviewed stuff. There's also some dissertations, wouldn't necessarily recommend using them. You can narrow it down by subject. So we can see here obesity, nutrition, food habits. And you can also narrow it down by language. Some of these are in Spanish, Portuguese. Obviously, they're not appropriate for the University of Liverpool. And finally, by publication. This can be quite useful too. The Journal of School Health, the American Journal of Public Health. You know, so if you've found that there's a particular journal that you like using or that you think it's got a good reputation, maybe you can select it here and it's going to narrow your search results. If you want to find and read one of these articles, go through each of the titles and then try and find one you think is suitable. So let's take number six. The more schools do to promote healthy eating, the healthier the dietary choices by students. So if we want to read this, um, we click on Is It at Liverpool? And this is going to open in a new page. Okay. And you can see that full text is available from BMJ Publishing Journal. So you'll click on that and this should take you through to a link for the full text. Okay, so thank you for your time today. I hope this presentation was useful. If you do require further support, please request assistance to the student support team. A member of the student support team will promptly be in touch with you to offer their help. Uh, you can see this link here below. Um, if you type that into your browser, um, you'll be able to submit a ticket. And I said you submit that ticket and someone will be in touch. Thank you. Goodbye.